World 5, Gladiatores Arenum, Part 1. Remember when I said I wanted to meet other harbingers and talk with them? Well, I did get my wish, but not the way I expected. The book had been silent for a considerable amount of time, almost a month. I felt as if I had been blessed by the heavens, but alas, the heavens do take a hefty toll for their benevolence. The time was high noon, and I was enjoying a nice vacation with a couple of good friends of mine. While I was on the viewing deck of the beach house, the book started fluttering and jumped on the desk, spilling all the drinks on the floor, all while enshrouding me in a bubble of light. As I sat in there, I looked up and down, just absolutely pissed off. Sure, I was about to die, or I might make it back with some psychological damage, but the book absolutely destroyed my drink and the hamburger. The nerve of that sentient book. But when the white light dissipated, I found myself outside a huge colosseum. It was exactly like the one in Rome, though I had never visited. I somehow knew that it was the real one. It looked like it had been newly constructed, and was ready to be filled with the blood of its brave gladiators, and to crown its victor. As I walked in, a Roman munifex ran towards me and said, What are you doing there? You're supposed to be in the Colosseum, gladiator. I blinked in confusion, and before I could answer, I was dragged to some sort of waiting room for gladiators, I think. When I entered the room, I saw a few people beside myself. A tall, muscular man with several scars across his chest and arms. A scrawny boy with a bored look. A muscular old man with a serene look across his face. And someone I remember seeing on my college campus. There were a few others, but I couldn't be bothered to look at them. I walked to the one that looked familiar to me, and said, Are you from a university in... Before I could complete my sentence, the boy covered my mouth, and some of the gladiators looked around at us. He looked at me with his piercing white eyes, and tilted his head towards a corner. We walked towards the corner, and he swung his fist towards my head. I ducked and tried to counter, but he stepped back, avoiding it. He smirked and spoke in a low voice. Yeah, I'm in the same university as you. We take a few classes together. Never knew you were a harbinger too. Maybe after the tree incident, I knew there was another one besides me who could have been a harbinger, but I never even suspected you. I was taken aback by his words. He was rude but he looked and sounded much more experienced than me. I looked at him with a placid face and said, Well, I take it that was your best attempt at a compliment. No matter. Why are two harbingers in the same world? He looked at me incredulously. Well, it's a coliseum, and I'd assume that there are going to be multiple harbingers here. Every single one of these guys is a harbinger. So, what are your powers? I was about to retort, but then I stopped and looked at him. I rolled my eyes and said, I can control the weather and make clones of any object that I touch. He nodded, as if seriously considering that answer. Then there must be a third harbinger from the same university, as you don't seem to have the power to make plants grow rapidly. I nodded. Yes. That makes sense. Anyway, when is the trial going to begin? As soon as I spoke, the same Munifex came inside the room and told all of us to wear our armor 
and pick our weapons. I walked towards a locker-looking contraption that had my name on it. I opened it and found one short sword with a black hilt and a fifteen-inch long blade with the engraving WIT, a small dagger with a red hilt and ornate designs with the inscription on its blade STEALTH, leather greaves, a pair of shorts, a string, a spartan helmet, and a small black marble. I put them on and hid the dagger under my shorts, using the string to tie it in place. I also pocketed the marble. I walked towards the door, and the guard looking unimpressed with my weapons and armor. He nodded and escorted me to the center of the Colosseum.